Okay, hi YouTube. So today I'm doing a how to cut your hair video. It is how to perfectly cut and trim your hair and uh, give it some layers and everything. And uh, the layers start probably about right here and go down to the end of the hair. And it gives you a really pretty U um, cut. And uh, if you skip one or two steps, then it will give you a V cut. So uh, I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Thumbs up it and share it and everything like that. Um, so I hope that you guys will watch my next video that will come out. And that will be how to cut uh, little layers into your hair. So I hope to see you guys next time. Okay, Bye. so some things I'm going to go over with you guys. You can wear this look if you have wavy hair, curly hair, um, coarse hair, if you have fine hair, if you have thick hair. Um, I have really fine hair that is uh, naturally this straight, um, but if you guys have curly hair and you're wondering, oh, will this affect my curls the wrong way or something, I've had many people do this. Um, I actually made this video a year ago and my count got hacked, so um, the video is gone now, but I had a lot of comments saying that their hair turned out really good. So any type of hair, and this particular haircut uh, is made for any type of part too. So you can put your part over here and down the middle, you can zigzag it and everything. Um, it mainly um, just affects the ends of your hair and it kind of layers it and everything. And I've already cut my hair, so this is okay, after so what I cut need it. for this haircut is damp hair. I have a water bottle and I'm just going to be dampening my hair with the water. Um, you're going to need some really good hair cutting scissors that are really, really sharp and that can cut hair really well. Um, just any any really sharp scissors would work, um, and a hairbrush or a comb or um, something to brush your hair out with. So I will uh, see you guys in just a bit. Bye. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to flip over our hair to do this first step. We're just going to brush it all out, and we're going to pull it all together. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to just snip. Snip about that much off. And um, yeah, so the first step is really easy. You just flip your hair over, cut a little bit, and uh, that's it. So let's go on to the second step. Okay, so this is step number two. What we're going to be doing is pulling all of our hair over to this side and just brushing it out until it's really smoothed out. And uh, then we're going to be cutting the same exact way we cut before. So I'm just pulling all of your hair over. And I'm just going to show you guys over here. And you're just gathering all the hair. And you just grab about the same amount. Um, I normally always use the width of my thumb so that I don't cut off too much and if I'm going to go out and cut off more I'll just keep going with one uh, thumb size. I just accidentally let go of my hair. Okay, so once you got the desired amount you just cut straight and see it's about this much that I cut off. So it's not really a lot and um, so I'm putting it down on the towel right now and we're going to move on to step number three. So on step number three, you will have brushed all of your hair out to the right side. And yes, this is my right side. And I don't know if it will actually show it on the video that way because it likes to flip it. So I've got everything where it needs to be, making sure that everything is smoothed out. And then I'm just cutting that little thumb section that I normally do. So um, that was all that I had to cut off for step number three, and um, I'm going to be going over uh, what the hair looks like now that I'm finished, and this is just a quick trim, and it is just like um, like a little layering effect, and it like gives you a rounded look, and then um, if you don't do the side cuts, you'll get more of a V look. Yeah, so uh, yeah. In the back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you like it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.